Hi, good morning. It's June 26th, Sunday, uh, 2011, and I am updating my vegetable garden on my third floor balcony. And here is some update. Let me turn it around. Here we go. We have strawberry flowers coming up, so we're going to have some more strawberries later on in summer. Here's the flower. Let's see if you can see that. Oh, see the white flowers on the strawberry? And there's some more flower buds coming up right there. And then we have some strawberries getting ready for ripening. It's almost got a few more days to give it some more time to ripe before it's sweet, otherwise it's sour. Runners are coming up. Here are the runners. Here are the runners. Yeah. Running. I'm going to start running around and get more strawberry plants. And then my basil is flowering like crazy. The warm weather we've been having is great for the basil. I've got this one. This purple flower one is called... Oops. What's it called? It is called... I can't see. Yeah. It is called Magic Mountain. And it's got this kind of deep lavender, medium lavender color on the flower stalks, on the inflorescence. So pretty. I don't want to deadhead it because I think it's very pretty. And I'm growing it for the flowers rather than the herbs for cooking. Here's a different one. What is this one called? This one is called African Blue Basil. So it's a lighter, lighter blue color. Well, it's a lighter lavender color. And here is the close-up. I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of whitish with some lavender color. It's lighter than the other one. You see the difference? It's much darker much darker. And then my oregano is about to set flowers. I don't mind. I want to, I like the flowers. And then, what else do, do I have? Oh, yeah. My sad celery. They're not growing much. They're very tiny, tiny, tiny. So much for the Utah Jumbo, it's called. It's nowhere jumbo. If you look at the stalks, they're skinny. They're like Chinese celery. Chinese celery is very, it's a very narrow, intense flavor um, kind of uh, celery. I'm going to try and buy some Chinese celery instead. And then my lettuces, uh, most I've replanted. The other ones have bolted or started to bolt and I have harvested the whole head so I can um, either have a salad or blanch it with oil and water and then eat it with soy sauce, Chinese style. And then, let's see, I pruned the dead cane off of uh, the raspberry so now there's two canes for this fall to bloom at the top and then later on, next year in spring, the second bloom will be on the lower part of the cane. My tomatoes are flowering. I got some peas, sugar snaps to plant in. The sugar snaps or the, what are they called? I can't remember. I think they're snaps. And here is a, I bought some more tomatoes. This is called the Juliet. And it is a hybrid of some sort. Elongated, elongated cherry sweet tomatoes. Here is some fruit. I bought the fruit. I bought it with the fruit. I want a head start. And then I have, I've got to return the um, ornamental oregano, which it was for a client we didn't use. And the tomato seedlings I had seeded from one of Trader Joe's delicious tomatoes. I've got red California onions and then my sunflowers are coming up. The sunflower seedling. And then 
I planted, interplanted some beans into my corn. And they're coming up slowly. And then we have the anthers of the corn coming up. Yay! And that will pollinate the corn on the bottom. Here is the swollen corn ovary. Oh, is it over yet? It's, it's swollen here and that's developing into a, a corn ear. So, if it doesn't pollinate, I will have baby corns to eat, which is fine. They're just as delicious. There's some more anthers coming up. And uh, we should be having corn in a, in, hopefully, in a few weeks, if not in, within a month. So, that is the latest up the Oh, and then here are some more lettuce that was from the first planting. They're okay, they haven't bolted yet, but they're trying to. And then the uh, red lettuce I bought, then they're not doing too great. They're trying to bolt for sure. They're kind of leggy and limpy. And there's a heat wave that we had, kind of uh, caused it to go limp. And then we have the pepper, sweet pepper, yummy bell pepper. Got lots of buds, flower buds. I've got actually a a flower that is setting fruit right there. So that will take some time. Don't have a lot of heat. So we'll see what we get later on. And then I have um, potted up, had started some fava bean seedlings. Ooh, I can't wait for that to come up. So it's a cool season. I'm going to try and grow it in this summer in the shade. It's so see if I can get some fava beans for fall eating, hopefully. And then, oh, I have a potato coming up. That yeah, came from some broken up potato leftover that I had somehow gotten there. So it's uh, sprouting, so I'm going to leave that in there and hopefully I have ten potatoes to harvest uh, in winter. I'm going to let that all run around and be a potato planter later on. And then I have seeded, I put in another potato in here. We'll see what we'll get. It's a purple one. And then I put some what uh, cilantro seeds in here. We'll see what we get. So that's also another cool season. But if I get a bunch, I'll harvest it and then have it with my fish. What not. And there we have it. That is it for this Sunday.